Another right of the lay faithful, Canon 229, all the Christian faithful have a right to integral catechesis, but the lay faithful also have the right to study the sacred sciences at the college and university levels and may be qualified to receive a mandatum or a canonical mission to teach those sacred sciences. Those engaged in these disciplines have a just freedom of inquiry and expressing their opinions on matters in which they possess expertise. Of course, observing the submission due to the magisterium of the church. The possibility of teaching sacred sciences opens up the potential of helping to form seminarians, for example. Laypersons serve as members of the faculty in seminaries and universities where seminarians take their courses in philosophy, theology, and their favorite subject, canon law. <laughs> According to the United States Program of Priestly Formation, in the seminary, the rector, assisted by his faculty, is especially important in promoting, assessing, and developing priestly vocations. Annual evaluation reports on seminarians should include the vote of faculty members. Also, according to the program of priestly formation, advisory boards of seminaries are to include priests, religious, and laypersons. Above all, seminarians are to have sustained contact with the poor, the marginalized, the sick, and the suffering. These two are lay Christian faithful who help form future priests and probably more effectively than anyone else. 